Good evening, good evening, everybody. We are glad to be back. And guess what? It is day number 15. We're halfway there to our second annual African American Children's Book Festival. And we are so excited. It seems like as every day goes by, I get more excited and more excited. And one of the greatest things, the reason why I'm excited, because we have so many youth. And tonight we have a special guest. If you saw the promo invite, we have Mr. Chancellor Rice with us tonight. And we are so very excited to have him on with his parents. And so we're going to go ahead and get in because we got a couple things and we might have another special guest tonight. And so we're going to wait and give you a surprise for that. Tonight, we're just going to read a little excerpt of Imagination Like Mine by one of my new friends, author here from Flint, Michigan, uh, Latasha Perry. She has a wonderful, wonderful line and series of books called Kids Like Mine, and they're very affirming books. And she is building a bookmobile. She's doing some really, really great things here in the city of Flint. But before we get started with all of that, you know what I want to show you. I want to show you our promotion so you can see what kind of books that you can actually win during the book festival. Here you go. Put your fist up. Put your fist up. So if you could have seen me in the background, I'm just bopping and having a good time. Those are my cousins that did that. Uh, uh, that that's their the soundtrack. It's not you know especially custom made. Uh, but Courtney Steele is the producer, and two of the voices that are one of the voices is he is, and the other two voices are two of my cousins as well, and they are just amazing. So tonight I want you to interact. Come on, let's show Chancellor some love. So interact and comment so that we can show him how loved he is all around the country. Now I know from Flint, Michigan, Chancellor. We love you, love you, love you, sweetheart. And so, again, we're having our um, second annual uh, African American Children's Book Festival. And one of the re one main reasons is we want to promote literacy. 20 years ago, there were only about 9% of the books published by major publishing houses that included children of color. And that's all color, not just African American. Now we're at about 25% but that's still too low. And again, that includes all uh, children of color. And so the purpose of starting the African-American Children's Book Festival is so that we can see more books that look like us and are represented like us. And so it's very, very important, especially in a time right now that our children need to learn so many things. And so Ubuntu Press is one of the sponsors and Ubuntu Press, um, was founded by me on last year. And one of the things that I wanted to do was make sure that I got that word out about culturally affirming books. And so Ubuntu Press is sponsoring this as well as Kingdom Influence. If you have not registered, please register, please register. There's the information right there. You can go and register right now. And I promise you from now until then, we're going to have some surprises and it's going to be worth your while registering early. All right. So real quick, we're going to just share a couple of the pages of Imagination Like Mine. Now, again, Latasha has a whole series. Um, this is probably my favorite because I love the imagination and I want children to be encouraged to use their imagination. Being an educator for almost 30 years, that's very, very vital and very, very important. So imagination like mine, I am going to read her dedication. It says to every girl or boy who reads this, be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to follow your heart, daring enough to always dream big, strong enough to live the life you've always imagined and fearless enough to always be you, La Natasha M. Perry. And so she wants you to be bold, be daring, use your imagination. 
Imagination like mine runs wild and free, but all of the things I can pretend to be, there's not a thing that's quite like me. I love to play pretend. It's my favorite thing to do. Look at me, I'm beautiful, a beautiful mermaid swimming in the ocean blue. Deep down under, my tail glides me through as I swim with the clownfish and humpback whales too. An imagination like mine runs wild and free, but all of the things I can pretend to be, there's not a thing quite like me. I'm an imagining I'm a tree, standing tall and strong as I can be. My leaves sway in the wind side by side with a birdie on a branch in his nest to hide. Hide from the scary storm that's coming through. Rain and thunder, lightning too. So glad we're just pretending, aren't you? An imagination like mine runs wild and free, but all the things I can pretend to be, there's not a thing that's quite like me. Flapping high above with my wings spread, can you guess what I am? An eagle, that's right, fearless and free. I soar through the sky, perched on a treetop, as I quick, as I check out, the sights. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. If you want to know what else happens in imagination like mine, you can support again, Latasha by ordering. Um, she does have a website. If you just Google kids, uh, like mine, you will find her as well. Um, her things are available through bookstores and again, um, on Amazon. But again, this month, we're asking people to really try to support local bookstores and preferably if you have a black bookstore to really support them. They have diminished over the years and we want to encourage those numbers to come up. So again, tonight we have a very, very special guest. He's been waiting patiently uh, back in the back room here and we want to bring Mr. Chancellor on. And so I want to share uh, him and his family with you. And so here we have the marvelous, wonderful Rice family. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello guys, how are you? Doing well. well. Yeah, that's great. Hi, Chancellor. Hey, say hello. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good. That's good. Do you see your name on that screen? The Rice Family. Yes, <laughs> it says the Rice Family and at Chancellor Rice. And so, guys, Chancellor has his own um, YouTube channel. So go and subscribe to his YouTube channel and listen to him read and just promote. Chancellor, how old are you? Five now. You're five <laughs> now. What grade are you in? Mm. You're going to what? Fifth grade. No, nope, you're not going to fifth grade. You're going to what? Just <laughs> kindergarten. Kindergarten. Going to kindergarten. Well, Chancellor, you got some love being shown to you. Look, that's my friend. She lives all the way here in Michigan. Oh, say hi. What's her name? Tracy Robin Jackson. Oh, she's going to love that you read that. Watch. She's probably going to say something in just a minute. <laughs> yes, you have love coming from everywhere. Who is that that says great platform? My grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandmother's showing you some love. So how do you like, have you started school yet, Chancellor? Not yet. Not yet? Say no. No. Not yet. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I know. What's your favorite thing to do in school? Mm, read. There you read. Go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look. Read this. <laughs> Read that. What does it say? Um, hello, grandson. Keep up the great job. <laughs> yes. And look, Chancellor, I have a message too. What? What does it say? What does the message say? This is Avon. Avon. Avon is my nephew. He's in Michigan too, so he's saying hi to me. That's not my name. No, his name is Avion. That's his her nephew. So that. say hello. Hello. Hi. He's talking to you. <laughs> we have some people showing us some love tonight, Chancellor. Well, I invited the Rice family on um 
for our uh, onlookers and everything, I invited the Rice family on because they are just phenomenal. And again, I am not just saying that Chancellor is phenomenal. Um, I met Crystal through a mutual friend and we were on a platform like this uh, doing some culturally affirming books. And Crystal wasn't on live when I read my book, Panther in the Sky. But the next day she made a comment and she's like, oh, my God, just awesome, wonderful. And it touched my heart. And so I sent her an inbox and said, you know what? Thank you so much for sharing because she shared it with some other people. I said, you don't even know me. I said, I'm going to send you my book. She was so excited and I mailed it directly to who? Who did I mail it to? Who did she mail it to? What's the book? Who did she mail it to? Ooh, got yes. to it up. Yeah, Chester got to go to the mailbox. It had his name on it. And he read the book, Audience. Oh, my God. He was four at the time. And amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, he was four, right? Or had he turned five yet? Yeah, he, he just he turned five. But Panther in the Sky is written at a readability, an independent readability level of about fifth and a half grade. And so when he read that, I was like, wow. But he has a phenomenal mom that's an educator. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you. So go ahead, you guys. I am Crystal Hextall Rice. I am Chancellor's mother. I'm a special education teacher in the city of Portsmouth, Virginia. And I'm Chancellor's father, Tyron Rice. And I'm a Heavy equipment operator. <laughs> and, and you got some heavy equipment there. He is something <laughs> else. He is a chancellor. When I say he is just phenomenal. Oh my God. He's just amazing. And so I had Crystal on my podcast. I do a podcast called ordained educators as well. And Crystal came on with one of my special guests and Crystal, would you just tell a little bit about what you and Tyron, what you all did to cultivate this love for reading with chancellor? Well, it starts actually, it starts in the womb. You know, when your child is in your stomach, they can hear what's going on. So that's when I actually started reading to him putting in the, the womb. On yeah, putting the headphones on my stomach. And it didn't stop once he was born every day, um, immersing him in the alphabet, numbers, colors, shapes, and all of that. And it went from there on. It just kind of took off. He really absorbs. Um, reading and learning. And so it's, it's such a blessing. And so we're just doing our best to keep nurturing that and um, putting more and more different types of um, literature in his hands so he can continue to grow. Okay. And uh, when he was little, I always talked to him, even in the stomach, I always uh, communica I communicated to him. I didn't talk, baby talked to him. Yes. Regular. And uh, when he read his little face, continue to just keep talking to him and he and then I started we started to notice um about well, six months into it that he actually was trying to communicate back. Wow. To, to, uh, he would look you dead in your face and as you talk to him he was real focused and wow. he did know that very early on he focused on you and would look you dead in your eyes and won't take his eyes off you. So he, he showed very early that he was doing something very special. And how early did he actually start reading? Well, I, I'm not going to say reading because I'm talking about oral reading, but Crystal, you and I were talking about this because we know that reading starts with a lot of foundational skills. So explain that to our audience. Talk about some of the skills that he had um, shown you early. He was showing me that um, he, he had a grasp of letter sounds. And um, for instance, I would say, Chancellor, what letter is this? He could identify the letters, first of all. And then he could make the corresponding sound to it. And it, I kind of found out through having stage, you, know, you kind of observe your child and, you know, while they're playing and I'm seeing him do this stuff. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I started um, chronicling like his development on my cell phone and posting it because I'm like, you know, the things that he's doing is kind of, you know, I'm not used to children doing it that early. And so um I just wanted to make sure that I had that information just for my records and yeah. to show other people that, look, you know, if if you start early with your child, they can do the same thing. So, um, like I said, he was doing the letter sounds and then it progressed from that. to I was showing him words and he was reading words on like little task cards that I used in the classroom. And that kind of threw me off, too. And then he went from there to reading shows on the TV guide. Right without the pictures so, and then it went from there to books and 
I mean, he just has an affinity for reading and I, and I love it. I know I told, uh, I, I was, uh, you were telling that before it was like, he's actually watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look, Chancellor, you want to read this one? What'd that say? Nice and loud. My teacher. Yeah, yeah. but what did she say? Hey, Chancellor and family. Mrs. Tiffany is proud of you. So, Chancellor, you're going to be our MC. Do you know what 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 all you're going to be doing? Say no. Say no. No. What do you What are you going to be doing? Ask her. Reading. Oh, he he said he's going to be reading. Our right, and we're going to have to get interact with the with the audience and interact like you're doing right now while you're reading the stuff across there and so you and carter are going to be doing that for me we're going to have a practice so i want a uh, chancellor to come on tonight so you guys can see that adorable face and again, <laughs> show him some love get some people to register this is a free event and it's again sponsored by kingdom influence and ubuntu press and kingdom influence is a nonprofit that my husband and i started here yeah. in michigan to put libraries in the homes of children. And so we really, really want to do that. And so, yes, look, look, look what Miss Tiffany said to you again, Chancellor. What did she say? Read it loud. You're a biggest fan. <laughs> the biggest fan. And you said she was your teacher, right? Yes. yes, your mommy's a teacher. And so we love, did you know that uh, Miss Jackson, I used to be a teacher? Yeah, you knew you would be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a teacher. I taught all grades except for kindergarten. I started at first grade and went all the way to fifth grade. Oh, and kindergarten. But when I became a principal, guess what my favorite class was, Chancellor? What? Kindergarten. I <laughs> love kindergarten. Yeah. Yes, I love kindergarten. I would go and play with the kindergartners. Yes. <laughs> And so if you all want to share anything else about literacy, I just wanted you guys to come on tonight and help us promote, again, this event and literacy and how valuable it is. And for people to see you guys and to understand it's easy, it's simple, but it takes a whole village. And I, I love you guys, your story. You're just such a beautiful, beautiful family. We just love you all the way from Michigan to Virginia. Oh. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you, Miss Jackson, for just, I mean, I was not expecting you to send the book in the mail and I was blessed by this book. And so um, because of that, I purchased two books that I will be giving to um, two deserving people. One is Mrs. Tiffany, because I know that she will use and share this book with all of her wonderful students. And another is a substitute teacher, great friend of mine who um, she was in kind of inquiring about the different books that Chancellor's been reading. And so I wanted to bless her with the gift of your book as well. So that will be coming soon, ladies, if you are up here. Um, literacy is very important because it is the foundation for everything that you do in life. So, I mean, and even um, the culturally affirming portion of it is very important because it's impactful. It is imperative that children see themselves in books because when yeah. you do that you kind of unlock the door yeah. to infinite possibilities for them when they don't see themselves they really can't identify necessarily with other characters so i really appreciate the platform that you are providing yeah. that yeah. star has provided you all have reignited a spark inside yeah. of me i am so blessed and you know just to be able to see all of the all of the beautiful um, African American culturally yes, affirming yes. books that are out there. We are investing yes. in it and it's inspiring me to one day take that leap. I've yes. always wanted to write. So yes. I'm gonna because yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you have a number one cheerleader when you get ready. I'm here. <laughs> what were you going to say, Tyron? Oh, I was saying, um, just continue with like she was saying. I love it too. Um, when I was younger, um, didn't see a lot of my, you know, my face. And, and like she was saying, characters that I could identify. And with him, int his interest in books, and we trying to find books when we actually discovered there's so much, so many books out here that depicted little kids like him in it. We loved it. And he took to it so well. So, like I said, the things y'all are doing are just, just needed. 
Yes. Definitely need it. Yes. We appreciate families like you helping support. And Chancellor, we can't wait. And so Carter is having vacation because he starts school next week. But next week, Carter is going to call you so you guys can practice. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Will you have anything else you want to say, Chancellor? You want to yeah. say anything? Ch Share with the people really quickly some of Mom. your listen. Listen, mm -hmm. share with some I'm gonna come out you are some of your favorite books. Which which one is this? And this one was actually autographed by Miss Bridget. Yay, with a special note in it. We're happy. What's what's another one of your favorite books? We love this book as well. What's another one? A story of Matt. The story of rap was a really cute really little book. And yeah. because he's going to kindergarten, he's stuck on this one. So what is this book? The King of Kindergarten. The King of kindergarten. And there's so many more um, that he has and has not read yet. So um, I'm quite Those sure his list will there, continue yeah. to increase. All right, so we are so excited to see those books that you share, Chancellor. You have one on there that I don't have in my library that I got to get. I don't have the rap book. I have another rap book. The um, the uh, what is it? It's in my it's in it's in my thing that I'm giving away to some children here. Um, the, the it's not the history of rap when the beat. Uh, when when history first started. So look, you have your granny is saying something to you again, Chancellor. What, it, yeah. what does it say? Thank you for all you promoting today. Pro to yeah. promote reading. Right. <laughs> and look, you're getting some love from Thank Mr. you. So Mr. Rhonda's son is waiting oh, in the room for us. So eat me um so Chancellor, I want you to wait around so you can help me do something, okay? And I want you to check out Ethan. Ethan is coming next. But wait a minute, let me give you, let me show you some more love you're getting. Look at that. Look at that. Do you That's know who that is? Larry, Larry Jackson. Do you know yeah. who that is? That's Miss Bridget's husband. That's my husband. <laughs> so he's giving you some love, Chancellor. All right. So we appreciate you all. I'm going to have you go down in the, the back room for just a minute. Don't go anywhere, okay? Because right. I want you to help us tell who somebody's going to win tonight. All, all right? right? All righty. I'll see you in just a minute. All right, guys. We have a treat. I told you we had a special guest. We have this book, Ethan's Talent Search. And guess who is in the back room? I'm getting ready to bring him in right now. He's smiling. There we have our awesome Ethan. Hey, Ethan, how you doing tonight, buddy? Good. That is so good. We're so happy to have you on. Thank you. Look who we have. We have Ethan. You want to show your dad? Are you going to let your dad see, be seen too? <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just got done. He do a little little training for basketball outside. So yeah, he got done. So we in the car. It's, it's not the lightest, but. Yeah. That's okay. So the audience understand. Ethan, one of the things that he does in his book is he's looking for his talent. And one of the things that Ethan is good at, what are you good at, Ethan? Tell her what you do in your book. Mm. Basketball. Do you, you do basketball in your book. And where are you at right now? What are you doing right now? Oh. You just left where? The basketball practice. Yeah, he just left basketball practice. So audience, let's show Ethan some love. He left the gym like he hasn't been done for more than about 15, 20 minutes. And he came on. Look, Ethan, you're getting some love. Say hi. hi. She says, hello, Ethan. And look, wait a minute, you're getting some more love from Miss Tiffany. Oh, wait a minute. And Miss Tracy is telling you hi. Uh oh, look. My husband, you know, he likes basketball too, Ethan. He said, what's up, Ethan? What's up? You want to say what's up back to him? All right. We're so happy to have you on, Ethan. You want to tell everybody real quick about your book? Yes. Tell them about your book. You want to tell them how, how, how your book came? How did you get this book? Um, towards hard for him. You say what? I said I worked hard for it. Oh, you worked hard. Okay. Who made the book for you? Huh? 
Who who made the book? How did how did you get the book published? Uh, look on the back. <laughs> look on the front. <laughs> You know what? This is the moment for kids say the darnest thing. He just said, look on the front. My mother and his father wrote the book for his birthday gift. And so now Ethan goes around and he travels and he talks to people about the book. He's been, this is his, his second year with us at the African American Children's Book Festival. And we are so proud of you. Look, Miss Hextall, she says, great job, Ethan. You want to say something to her? Thank you. Look, Miss Tiffany says great answer. And it was. Miss Tiffany, I'm telling you, that was an answer. As teachers, as educators, we understand. Ethan, I couldn't have paid you to say that. That was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, you're getting some love all the way from Muskegon, Michigan. Um, and this is my sister. Her name is Miss Gallaty. And she, guess what? She says, keep it up. And she got you some basketballs there. And who is this? Whose name is that? My mama. <laughs> yes, she's so proud of you too. Yes, yes, yes. And then Miss Tracy says, congratulations, good job on the book. Thank so do you have anything else you want to share? Ethan is going to be one of our people, um, again, one of our authors, and he's going to be sharing, and he'll be uh, uh, in a better lighting and all of that stuff. I just grabbed him tonight. I knew he had basketball, but I wanted to share Ethan with you guys because if you don't have this book, you need this book in your library for your child, your grandchild, your niece, your nephew, your neighbor, your student, whoever. You need to have that book. Oh, Ethan, you're getting love all the way from uh, Nevada, from Las Vegas. Vegas. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, and even Miss Tiffany. Um, Miss Tiffany says hi to mom and dad too. So. You know, Eric and Sharonda, she's saying hi to you guys. Th this was absolutely wonderful. Do you want to share with parents about what, you know, kind of made you do this and and encourage literacy? You, you can actually tell what you do for a living. What do you do, Eric, for a living? Uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm a reporter for ESPN. It's big for me to, you know, teach literacy to kids. And uh, me and his mom were buying all type of Jordans and shoes and all that. And we was like, what can we give him that's bigger than just... Um, you know, just bigger than just uh, some that's just for the meantime, just some materialistic and something that can last around forever. So we want to show, you know, that other, you know, African-American kids can be in books. And it's so important now with everything that's going on in the world. Um, just just showing that. So, yeah, me and his mom thought that was really important for him to do. And it's all real characters in his life. It's really family and friends. That's all in the book. Like Nasir, that's his first cousin. And Antoine is his best friend. And you know, it's all real characters. So that was important to us as well. Yes, yes. And it's beautifully illustrated by a Flint illustrator. And so Flint is repping. So this week, if you're listening for the first time tonight, we've been representing um, self-published books, indie authors. And so it's, it's independent authors. We shorten it and it's called Indie Authors. And we are, um, again, trying to promote, promote, promote they have some wonderful things out there. And I think this is probably one of my favorites. Ethan, I read your book to my grandson and my great nephews over. And you know my great nephew. Remember, Justin, he plays, you call him Rocket. Yeah, he plays know. basketball too. <laughs> and so I read this book to them over and over again. It is one of my favorites. So Eric and um, Sharonda, you all have done an amazing job. Like I say, this is really a wonderful thing. And so up, up at the top of the screen, everybody, if you can't see it, it says um, buy it. You can buy it on Amazon. Support, support, support. Support our folks. It's really wonderful and great. So this is Amazon. I'm coming for Ethan's Talent Search book. So Miss Tiffany's about to buy your book, Ethan. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You want to say Tiffany. thank you to her? All right. So she had made a hashtag for you, Ethan's Talent Search. <laughs> So we are so, again, grateful that you did come on. Um, Eric, we appreciate it. Again, guys, everybody that's listening, they took time out of their busy schedule and came on after practice. And so Ethan is going to be one of the featured authors. So you don't want to miss it. September 19th. Register today if you haven't. This is a free event. It doesn't cost anything. And when I say it's going to be amazing, we have a virtual game that we're going to be playing. We have a live DJ. 
We have yes. spoken word artist. She's 10 years old. And when I say she's phenomenal, Miss Tiffany, you know who she is. Get like Shania. She's going to be coming with us. And oh my God, just wonderful and amazing. So Sharonda says, what advice you want to give? What you want to give some mean? advice, Ethan? Like what? You want to tell anybody something to make them feel better today? Mm-hmm. What's something so that we always tell you? <laughs> What's something that we tell you that you can tell people? Um, no, stop what you what y'all doing. Just keep 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 doing it, and then y'all get better. All right, that's some good advice, Ethan. That's some really good advice. Miss Tiffany says yes, yes. <laughs> Just amazing. And then you have some more love coming from um, Pastor Tracy. Um, again, she's an author, but she's also a pastor, too. She says, support Ethan. So we got to listen to her, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we need to support you. We're so very proud of you, Ethan. And we can't wait to have you and your mom and your dad with us on September 19th. So we're going to talk again soon. Okay, sweetie? Okay. You have a good night. You know I love you, love you, love you. You know that, right? Say thank you. All righty. Again, if you don't have Ethan's talent search, get it, get it, get it. You want to say anything else before we close, Eric? Uh, no, just thanks for all the support. We truly appreciate it. And, um, you know, we just trying to, you know, really change the narrative. And I think it's so important right now in this time, especially for yes. our Blacks and, you know, yes. showing that we can do more and we can be in books and, you know, really inspire the next generation. So hopefully somebody can read it and be inspired, even if it's just one person. Yeah. We're really trying to get this out there. Yes. So um Miss Hextall, she's all the way from Virginia. She's saying great job to you and Sharonda. And I say the same thing. Wonderful. Like literally, I keep telling people I'm very creative and I've been writing for years. I've been teaching children through writing clubs and different like things like that for almost 30 years. And guess what? I didn't even think about an idea like this. This is a great idea. And so both of you have good uh, writing background and it's so great to promote not just reading, but writing too as well. So we thank you all. We'll see you guys soon. Good night, Ethan. You have thank a good you. I night. I appreciate it. Tell me good night. Good night. Good night, sweetie. All right. We're going to see you soon. Tell everybody okay. September 19th. September 19th. Your mama telling them too. September 19th. That's the date to be there. <laughs> All righty. Good night, sweetie. All right, thank you all. All right. We're going to be bringing back um, the uh, Rice family because Mr. Oops. Let me turn that off. I'm still learning to, to play with this stuff. I've been having such a good time, you guys, if you could see, um, playing with um, this is like a toy for me doing this live. <laughs> and so we are so excited, Chancellor that you waited around, we're gonna spin a wheel and we're going to give away a prize tonight. So Chancellor, can you do me a favor? Can you pick a number between one and seven? Mm. Hey, no, that's after seven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, between number? one and seven. Why? So, no, that's after seven. One. <laughs> it got to be. Seven, one, how old seven. are you? Five. We're gonna pick five. Okay. Oh, the fifth person to make a comment on here was your teacher, Miss Tiffany. Uh, Yay! <laughs> yeah, Say Miss <laughs> All right. So, so Miss Tiffany is going to win um, a book, and I know you're going to give the book to her. So, Miss Tiffany, uh, I'm going to send you a book too, and you can decide to gift it to somebody else if you'd like to. But that's what we're giving away tonight a copy of Panther in the Sky. All right. Aww. So, we're going to be giving away Panther in the Sky. So, Miss Tiffany, you're going to be able to win that. So, Chancellor, I need you to help me, okay? So, I'm going to come off the screen for a second. I want you to talk to the people. Can you talk to the people while I open up a different screen? Can you do that for me? Yes. Okay. Can I look at the screen? Okay. <laughs> so, what are you going to talk about, Chancellor? My book. Let's look. 
you want to kind of read back to them really quickly? What is it called? Okay, go ahead and read it. Okay. Okay. You know you can be what you need. You want to be what you can try to be what you can be. Good luck, child. You know when you are going, when you will go. Black child, do you know you are strong? I mean, really strong? Do you know you can do what you want to do if you can try to do what you can do? Mm -hmm. Hey, black child, be what you can be. Learn what you must learn. Do what you can do, and tomorrow your nation will be what you want it to be. All right, the great job, Blaine. Hey, Black great Child. Job. That's one of your favorites. You Anything else you want to say? Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. Do you want to tell the people thank you so much for listening and viewing you today? Thank you for listening and being with me. Okay, so guess what? I'm going to open up this other thing and I need you to help me with this, okay? So I'm going to open up this wheel and not only is Miss Tiffany going to get this, I have another surprise for her, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay, can you see it, Jasper? Say yes. Okay, yeah. watch it. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose, guys. Either. All right. So, Miss Tiffany, inbox me and I'm going to send you some information. Actually, if you want one of the other books, we'll do one of the other books too, as well. You want another book? You want me to do another book, Chancellor? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I told you guys, we're going to have a good time. Uh, Carter is six years old, um, about to turn seven, and, and, and Chancellor, Carter's going to the second grade, and Chancellor's uh, in the uh, kindergarten, and so, oh my God, the two of them together, you guys yeah. are going to enjoy yourselves, so they're going to help me moderate um, throughout the day. So come, please, 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 if you have not registered, please register. And if you have registered, get some other people to register. It's free. We can have as many people on here as possible because it's live stream. You don't have to do anything. Just go on Facebook or YouTube and again, watch it. And it's going to be some amazing talent shown that day. We have some incredible youth authors. We have, again, a great spoken word artist. She's an actress. Uh, one of our authors, she's an actress. Uh, one of our authors, he's from uh, Georgia, and he literally um, has this financial package. So he's teaching, his stuff teach grown people some stuff. He is phenomenal. Caden just turned 10 years old. And then you just met Ethan. And we also have Taylor. And Taylor, oh my God, Taylor lives here in Flint, Michigan. She's just phenomenal. She's an entrepreneur. She started her own business just by doing a science project. And so we have some amazing talent. Let's support, let's support, let's support. And so again, guys, Please, please, please support, support, support. Please support my Mr. Uh, Chancellor there. <laughs> Go to his page, subscribe to his channel, and you can find all of these videos on my channel. I'm at Bridget Brown Jackson as well. 
So the Rice family, do you have anything else to say as we close out? Just thank you so much for having us. Looking forward to participating yeah. in the Children's Festival. And I pray, I hope and pray that I win one of those book yeah. bundles. <laughs> It's open to anybody. So guys, come on. Doesn't matter where you live, anywhere. Um, I'm going to say just the United States because I had somebody actually come on to one of my pages from the UK uh, the other day. And I got really excited. I was like, oh my God, we're international now. <laughs> it was only one person, but hey, one person makes it international. Right. And so we're so very excited. So again, uh, register, register, register. I know uh, Crystal, she said she's a teacher. So she would love to have that book bundle. One of them is valued at $165. Um, another one is valued at, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to hold you all for 30 more seconds. This commercial is only 30 seconds, and I'm going to come right back. Put your fist up. Put your fist up. Put your fist in the air. Put your fist up. Yes, he said that's his book. We're going to (laughs) win. It's three bundles. You know what, Chester? You can. You have to enter to win and you can. Look, Chester, my cousin, he didn't cover us up. He didn't <laughs> want a big old beautiful thing. Okay. okay. Why you support no, you? So hard. No, you can not. read what it. Read it. What does it say? Like a big boy. What does it say? It's too hard. Go ahead and say a. A lot. Let me read it with you. A lot of people. To you giving the knowledge every night before they turn in the night Bridget you have sparked so many minds around the world mm-hmm. and Ethan it helped me the your on you youth on that same journey mm-hmm. much respect to chance for life for these eight characters, mate, you are all super afraid. Appreciate it. That's all she did. Go check. Hear me say he just turned five. He just yeah. turned five. You know, so wonderful. So, audience, thank you for loving on him. Oh. Um, Tiffany was like, yes, historian kid. Yes, yes historian kid is going to be in the house. I hope he'll cooperate. You know, he's been on a nice little summer vacation, so he's just been kind of doing some stuff. But he's coming back to Mimi and coming back to school. So Miss <laughs> Tiffany says she needs to win. I know educators, we, we love when we win stuff. So again, if you know some other educational, educator friends, Please let them know. So, Miss uh, Tracy said good night to us. Good night. So, good night, guys. We love you, Chancellor. Here's my kisses. Mwah. You know, I love you. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing them too, all the way to Michigan. Oh, one more, Chancellor. Mr. Jackson had to say something to you. What did he say? What did he say? Thank you. No, no, what no, did he what say? He awesome. There you go. <laughs> what did he say? Those are uh we can't figure out what the pictures are behind it, but it's, oh, it's a fish. Oh, it's, it's the fish, fish like man. that. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then Granny said she enjoyed it. And then the last one, my cousin is oh, the bluepress.org. Yes, people can go onto our website. Um, again, if you want to donate to Kingdom Influence, and as we're building libraries for children here in the city of Flint, we know what all happened to the children here in Flint. And so we're trying to help mitigate through education. So Thank you. You all have a good night. Rice oh, family. Thanks for having us. Love you. We love, love you. Too. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> time. But look, Ken said it's over. Cut. Let's go. All right, now. All right. All right. Good night. Bye bye. Right. Put your fist up. Put your fist up. Put your fist in the air. Put your fist up.
Entertainment Live.